If I wanted to find out who has the best fast food fries here in Singapore, I could 1. Buy back fries from every single fast food, reheat them in the same oven, and then have them all together. Seems logical. Or 2. Go down to every single fast food outlet and have their fries fresh from the fryer, no longer than 15 minutes after they have been cooked. But that wouldn't really work. No one place has all the fast food joints, which means I need to go multiple places. And with the current COVID restrictions, it probably also means that I need to eat the fries where the sun don't shine. And I have to do that for 14 fast foods. I love food, but even for me, that's a little too much. Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we'll be rating all of the fast food fries in Singapore into tiers. S tier, A tier, B tier, C tier, and D tier. Let's begin with D tiers, and taking our first spot today is Moss Burger. I recently become a Moss Burger fan after the last Moss Burger video, but they had the worst fries I had that day. They served these thick and chunky fries that just tasted terrible. There was little to no potato taste, and they were even borderline bitter, which I suspect has something to do with the oil that they fried it in. It had this like synthetic vegetable oil taste, even my bias for them could not make the fries taste any better. And sharing a spot with them in detail is Jollibee. And I didn't even eat the Jollibee fries. Let me explain why. All of the fries I bought that day, I paid via PayWave. But after queuing for 30 minutes in Jollibee, I realized they don't accept PayWave. The only fast food in Singapore that does that. I literally walked around the whole day with just my camera and my phone so I left my wallet in the car. Now I would have gone back to my car, got my wallet and recouped the whole thing if not for Jollibee's reputation of having the worst fast food fries, according to the LA Times. Now as a fast food franchise in Singapore, surely somebody from Visa or some bank would have approached you and said like, dude, let me hook you up. You had to make a blatant decision to say no. We are staying in the 90s, we are dealing with cash, but the fishers. Very disappointed, very disappointed. Jollibee is perhaps one of my favorite fast foods, but they take the last slot in the D tier. Moving on to C tier, we have Jinja Chicken. I know, I know, not the inclusion that most of you will expect, but they seem to be making waves in Singapore. Whatever waves they're making, they are not doing so with their fries. They had the most basic fries imaginable. So basic that I couldn't say anything. There, there was nothing to remark. <laughs> Sharing space on the C tier is Popeyes. Now Popeyes had decent fries, but it might just be because of the fatigue of running around the whole day and Popeyes was one of the last one that I tried that I didn't appreciate it at all. Popeyes doesn't serve regular fries, instead they serve Cajun fries which is fries with a slight batter with Cajun seasoning. To be honest, they probably deserve a higher spot, but it's so unfortunate that they happen to be one of the biggest competitors to KFC. So unfortunate, isn't it? Moving on to the B tier, we have the Golden Archers, good old McDonald's. McDonald's used to have the best fries in the country. They are world famous fries made from russet Burbank potatoes, fried in vegetable oil with no cholesterol and trans fat. But that was in the past. Now, it's undersalted with poor structural integrity. I mean, a little softness in the fry can sometimes be enjoyable, but when your fry is flaccid, no one is getting any pleasure. And this wasn't a time issue because remember, even in its prime, right, McDonald's fries taste like magic in the first 10 minutes. But after that, Cinderella has to go home. Oh my goodness. I tried every fry fresh on that day. All of them were still warm in my hands when I had them. So there really isn't any other excuse. I know a lot of people love McDonald's, but something definitely changed. Maybe their recipe changed, maybe the Fire Nation attack, I could not tell you. And sharing the same taste profile was Four Fingers. I was really surprised how similar Four Fingers and McDonald's fries were. Although the fries from Four Fingers was a little more tasty in their seasoning, the similarity make it chuck it into the same tier pretty quickly. Arnold's was also in the B tier. This had some kind of strange smell to it, but was actually pretty tasty. They seem to have been fried in a different kind of oil and almost had like a chickeny taste to them. What really stood out to me however was how hot the fries were. This literally just came out of the fryer. And for some reason they gave me like 
half a kg of fries. I know it's supposed to be a good thing, but it's like it's like somebody giving you like, you know, bro, half a potato. Last but not least, in the B tier is Long John Silvers. I know, I know, everybody loves Long John Silver fries. And it's in the B tier partly because of my fault. I ordered their potato fries because I wanted to standardize, right? But it turns out the fries that they serve with their meals are actually called Cajun fries. I'm not sure if anyone here had their potato fries before, but these are thicker cut fries with a substantial amount of fluff in them. The taste is okay, but nothing compared to their Cajun fries. The Cajun fries, I want to say, would be an A tier or an S tier, but it will not be fair for me to say since I didn't have them on the same day. And now, we are moving on to the good stuff. The first entry at A tier is Burger King. This really caught me by surprise. I don't remember Burger King being so good. They had a nice crust weight and substantial fluff on the inside. A really, really solid fry. Also on the A tier is A and W. These were like better quality McDonald's fries, but with a taste profile closer to KFC and Carl's Jr. I almost, almost put it into S tier, but S tier was already getting crowded. Because every fast food not mentioned thus far, has found a spot on the best tier. We start off with 5 guys, which isn't fair at all because their fries cost 3 times more than any of the fries listed in this video. What is fair however are the fries from Texas Chicken. These fries were literally scalding me. They were so hot I couldn't pick them up, much like the girls I meet. They had a nice crust, plum with potato on the inside and just tasted great. This is undeniably the best stick cut fry of the day. Moving on to shoestring fries however, we have KFC. Ah, this is not because I'm biased, okay? Okay, maybe a little because I'm biased. But mostly because of the tasty exterior and how it provides a slight crunch that crackles more in your heart than on your palate. Inside is very light, characteristic of a shoestring fry. It's just a joy to eat. But just when I thought KFC had the best true string fry of the day, came Carl's Jr. Carl's Jr. had a similar fry, but just better, crunchier, tastier, with a little bit of potato skin here and there. The difference really stands out when you compare the fry head to head. Putting all of the results together, we have something like this. Blood. Plot twist. A big part of the enjoyment of fries is when they turn soggy. So I bought all of these fries home and had them in front of a TikTok live stream. Most of them kept their places except for 4 brands. KFC demoted from S tier to A tier. Without its freshness, the fry lost quite a bit of its appeal. Or maybe I wanted to be more objective about things, we'll never know. Popeyes promoted from C tier to A tier. I suspect it was because I was very restless when I had the fry initially that I gave it such a low grade. It could also be that the Cajun seasoning shine brighter when texture is taken out of the equation since all of the fries were soggy, right? Burger King demoted from A tier to C tier. I'm not sure why. They were just not good after a while, even turning a slight bit bitter. And lastly, McDonald's demoted to C tier. And at the bottom of C tier at that. Cold McDonald's fries are just sad. Like I physically feel sad. Although all of the fries were soggy, right? The McDonald's fries were the saddest. After the tweaks, we are looking at something like this, which I think is pretty fair. What do you guys think? Which fast food needs a promotion? Which fast food do you think is overrated? Let me know in the comments. And now we actually get to the main point of the video. The best fast food fry in Singapore is... Five guys. But that isn't fair at all for reasons already stated. So properly, the best thick cut fries, Texas Chicken. The best shoestring fries, Carl's Jr. The best fries overall, KFC. And that's all I have for you guys this time. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you've enjoyed today's video. It literally takes you 1.2 seconds to click the buttons below and it will really, really help this channel out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.